Well said. You know, you mentioned uh, what's going on with WWE lately. I feel like this is our first time we've recorded since, man, it's a whole new era. And, you know, Vince McMahon now has a boss. That's something you and I have never been able to say here on the program before. The merger with Endeavor is complete. Uh, there's been uh, quite a bit of shakeups over there behind the scenes. I know their, uh, their CEO or, or CFO, rather, is, is now out of there, Mr. Riddick. And Jamie Horowitz headed up a department, and he's out, and a few others. But then there's even more shakeups from the on-screen characters. And unfortunately, a lot of people have lost their jobs, like Mr. Yeah. Riddle, and Mr. Ziegler, and Top Dollar, and Shelton Benjamin, and so many others. Uh, you, you and I haven't discussed any of this new era of WWE. What do you think about this new WWE venture with Endeavor? And, uh, what can you comment if anything on, on some of those releases? Oh yeah. I'll just say, you know, the best, uh, and it's really short. It's really easy to read. It was from, uh, um, <laughs> Matt, Matt Cardona. And I, the reason I'm laughing is I was like, I had to think of his real name because I just focus on the, the wrestling name. Uh, even though obviously he's been using his real name for the past few years and he gave a great tweet. He said, this could be the end of some, or it could be the end where you look at it as a new beginning. And he said, the work is out there. I promise you, if you're willing to work your ass off for it. And so this is where you can, you know, you can either, take the time uh, time honored route of going out in the indies and coming back each loop through with less and less of an impression or you can reinvent yourself uh the way that mac cardona did the way that drew mcintyre i think he really set the template cody rhodes you know became more over on the independence than he was in wwe before he made you know the the before there was an AEW. And I think it's just a matter if you're willing to work for it. You don't get that by monthly check in your mailbox. You've got to go out there and work for it. But I can tell you as somebody who, you know, I, I took pride in thinking that I kind of reinvented myself on the independent circuit in between uh, uh, 90 and 91. And then again, when I left WCW in 94, you do have to work for it. You really have to put yourself into it, but there's a lot now. Unfortunately, it's going to work out that some of the guys, you know, for some of those guys, WWE was the be all and end all, but other people are going to find a way to work harder uh, without the restrictions. Uh, I just reached out, uh, you know, I'm kind of late to the party, but I reached out to Dana Brooke today, for example, and told her I was sorry to hear of her release and she got back to me and I said, look, I know I felt like a giant weight was off my shoulders when I left the big companies and hopefully, you know, you'll feel that same way too. So I, it's, I always feel bad when people lose their, their income yeah. and their, you know, friends they've known for a long time. It just comes down to being willing to put in the work and there's a lot of work to be done. So I hope that some of them will take that opportunity to reinvent themselves. What do you think, uh, if anything is going to change with WWE with him now, him now being Vince, uh, pronouns, pal, uh, Vince having a boss. I mean, what do you think that looks like? This is a whole new era. I guess the, uh, announcers can feel more free to use pronouns. Uh, <laughs> see, I would argue with Vince as a writer that once you identify the subject in a sentence, you don't have to identify them a second time. That once you go with Mark Henry, just what an amazing power move by Mark Henry. He is the world's strongest man. You don't have to say Mark Henry is the world's strongest man a second time. But when I was on those headphones, you'd get there, no pronouns. <laughs> so. That I so I think some of I don't know how much of that will change. He's still going to be hands on. He said he wasn't going to be in the weeds, but I don't know if he knows any other way to be besides being in the weeds. You saw his retirement. Uh, you know, it did last longer than my retirement in uh, in two thousand, but it didn't last long. And I imagine Vince, he hasn't worked for anyone in 50, forty years. Or, you know, when he took over his dad's company in eighty. 
84, uh, maybe even 83. So uh, it remains to be seen. But, jeez, uh, I, I, I don't see any reason why WWE won't continue to be as popular, if not more popular, around the globe.